one who sets the precedent for his or her own example. You are part of a long, heroic tradition. That tradition, much like your training, is a continuous cycle. Although you have passed and successfully completed this leadership program, the reality is that your training and learning will never be finished. Real and successful leaders learn, train, and apply what they have learned to each new experience, after which, through assessment and feedback, we are able to evaluate how well or how badly we have done. It is our ability to learn, to adapt, and to be flexible that enables us to be successful. As leaders, you too will constantly be developing. We, as an Army, have come a long way in the nature of the conflicts that we've had to face over the last 200 years. We've had to learn and to adjust to new theaters of war and different types of conflict. We have all had to change and adapt. One thing that has never changed is our nation's trust and need for young leaders like the five cadets we're going to commission today. Today we face many new challenges and issues of security. These issues transcend national borders and it's clear to us today that we can never take our security for granted. Still, we are expected to and we will deliver. We can do this through the caliber and through the training of the men and women who, like yourselves, have met our rigorous standards. As a leader of men and women, you must be prepared to lead from the front and be prepared to learn. You will soon be in a leadership position where the combined experience of the men and women under your charge will be many more times extensive than your own. That should tell you something about learning as well as leading. As their leader, you must always lead by example. Those under your charge must be able to look up to you as a role model. Whatever you ask of others, you must be prepared to ask more of yourself. Your responsibility will not always be easy. You will be able to bring out the best in your soldiers by demanding even more from yourself. The very qualities that we have looked for and installed in you will be the very qualities that could prove decisive in battle. Ultimately, they will help save the lives of the men and women under your charge. We would not have passed this responsibility unto you if we did not think you were worthy of it. So today is a day for celebrating, and rightly so. We hope that you will enjoy these celebrations and that your families and friends do also. We hope also that you, you will go on to enjoy a distinguished career filled with purpose, honor, and success. So again, congratulations and good luck. Thank you, sir. Today we will witness the commissioning of Army cadets to the rank of second lieutenant. Cadet Joseph Bergman, will you please come forward?